Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa. I'm a multimedia artist from knitting, crocheting, drawing, sculpting, painting. I do it all. And if you guys want to help me not become a starving artist, why not subscribe, like, comment, whatever to support me. Thank you. I love you. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I crochet this cute bunny hat. I came across an account. I'll put it here on Instagram. I was like, that hat is really cute, girly. But I couldn't find a tutorial anywhere on how to make it. So I was like, hey, let me be the one to make a tutorial. And this hat is beginner friendly. I would say beginner, like near the end of beginner to like medium skill, like in that territory. Like it's pretty easy and super cute. Winter is coming. Well, if you are where I am, I live in Wisconsin and it's already snowing outside. Perfect timing for this. It is really warm and cuddly. And plus you can just wear it around. It's good for Instagram photos too. But um, anyways, um, also I apologize for my voice and my presence. I might be a little because I've been sick for like the past week. This is the best I felt in a week. Last Wednesday I started feeling sick. It is Wednesday today, so yeah. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get on to let's get on to the tutorial, shall we? Let's go. Okay, so starting with materials, you're gonna need two colors of yarn. I'm using pink and white, a five millimeter crochet hook, stitch markers, and a yarn sewing needle. And you do need to know how to do these things for this project, heads up. Okay, so first you're gonna make a slip knot. I was sculpting earlier, so don't mind the clay on my fingers. Okay, so after you put your slip knot onto your needle, you're going to chain 34 stitches. After you change your 34, you are going to chain one additional stitch. After you do that, begin to half double crochet into each of the chains until you reach the 29th stitch. Once you reach the last five chains, instead of half double crocheting, you're going to single crochet for the rest of the row. Turn your work and chain one. You are going to begin to single crochet through the back loop for the five single crochet stitches that we did in the last one. So you will always single crochet on this side of the project, so every time you reach that end, you will single crochet. Then you're going to begin to start half double crocheting again through the back loops, and you're going to do this the whole project as well. Continue crocheting until you reach 19 rows. Once you have finally reached 19 rows, as you can see, half of the hat is done. The single crochet rows are the top of the beanie. Set aside your first color of yarn, goodbye. And now you're going to switch colors and my next color is white. That's how you switch colors, quite easy. And you're going to repeat the same step, single crocheting the five of that row, and then continue half double crocheting through the back loops. Yeah, so it's literally the same as a pink, but with white. And you're gonna do that until you reach 19 of that color.
And after you do that, your beanie or hat is done. So now we have to bring it all together. So start by folding your work. Bring both of the ends together and begin to slip knot stitch. I mean slip stitch, my bad. Slip stitch the pieces together. Once you reach the end, cut the yarn, pull it through. Okay, now that it's all together, we need to close one of these holes. And we're going to close the side of the single crochet. To close the hole, start weaving in and out as close to the edge as possible. Once you make the hole round, pull the yarn all the way but not too tight because you don't want to rip the yarn. And close the hole. And there might be an incy bincy little hole there but we can just sew it together. Then fold the wider slash open edge of the hat to resemble a beanie and, and the hat is done. You can also use this to just make a beanie, but of course we're making a bunny hat, so let's start making the ears now. To start making the ears, you are going to make a magic loop. After making the magic loop, you're going to chain two and then double crochet four times into the loop. After you double crochet your four, pull the string to pull the loop closed. The next row is a single crochet row, but before we continue making the round, I'm going to place a stitch marker into the first stitch so I know when the round ends. And I'm just gonna continue single crocheting into each stitch, so four single crochets. Then after that single crochet row, I'm going to double crochet into that first stitch twice, so basically increasing. And then I, knit, I crochet those two and I place the stitch marker into the first one so I know where the beginning of the row is. This double crochet row is an increased row, and I increase by going into each stitch twice. After every single double crochet row is a single crochet row. So I did that double crochet row, and now I'm going to single crochet the whole row. No increasing, no decreasing. You just normally crochet every single single crochet row. And after you do that, you're going to turn your work inside out. So instead of working from the inside, you're working from the outside. And I did this just because I like the way it looks, so yeah. And this double crochet row is the same as the last one, and it is increasing by going into each stitch twice. The next double crochet row is a normal crochet row going into each stitch once. And I love the way doing the single crochet after every double crochet row looks. It just looks amazing. Okay. <laughs> The next double crochet row is an increase row, 
but instead of increasing every stitch you're going to do it every other two stitches so basically you're going to double crochet two normally and then after you do those two normally you're going to increase by going into the third one twice and you're going to do that for the whole round so basically one row Then after all that, you are going to double crochet five rows normally, making sure you single crochet in between every double crochet row. After you double crochet those five rows, we are going to begin to decrease. So before we increase, now we're going to get rid of those by decreasing. And the decrease rows consist of six rows For this decrease row, you're going to you're going to double crochet 3. And then after you do 3, you're going to increase by going into the front loop of the fourth stitch. Then going to the front loop of that next stitch. Wrap your yarn through, pull it through those two pull it through those two, and then pull it through those two. And that's how you decrease. And it should look like that. Repeat that for the rest of this row. Then after that decrease row, the next row is a normal double crochet. For the second decrease row, you will decrease after every two stitches. So basically, you're going to crochet you're going to double crochet two, and then after that second one in the third stitch, that's where you're going to decrease. So instead of every three, like in the last row, this one is every two. You'll see it gets gradually smaller and smaller. And like before, after this decrease row, you are going to crochet the next row normally. For the last decrease row, you are going to decrease every other one. So basically, you're going to double crochet run, decrease, double crochet one, decrease. Then after that decrease row, you're going to single crochet a row normally, double crochet a row normally, then single crochet a row normally, and then double crochet a row normally, and then single crochet a row normally, and then cut your string. After you do that ear, you're going to do the other ear, which is the same. And then take all your pieces and sew them. Even though, yes, it does look cute as a beanie, we need to sew the ears on, Alyssa. Let's sew the ears on. Come on. Okay, so then you're going to pick which side you want to be the back. And I want the back to be where the slip stitch seam is. So the back is where you're going to place your stitch markers. You can choose however you want to do, wherever you want to put them, how high, how low. So I did that. Like, that's all customizable. Then I took my ear, put a needle on the extra string, and I weaved in and out to close the opening. And then when I was done, I pulled the yarn to close the hole, but obviously not too tight. So it kind of looks like this. So it's sort of rounded at the end. So then after I do that, I'm going to place where I want the ear, which is right on the stitch marker. And basically, I'm just going to sew the ears onto the hat.
okay the beanie is done it is so cute and also these are totally optional but if you want i put these two little safety pins on the pink part i don't know they just look really cute or whatever color you choose on this part and i put these little bows and i did that by just chaining 60 and tying it around there but yeah it came out really cute so <laughs> Oh, we're rolling? Oh. So, yep, guys. The hat is done. Um, It's getting cold outside, so it's so nice to have a little crochet beanie on, you know? Be like, and you can wear this to wherever. And people are like, wow, where'd you get that from? And be like, I made it. <laughs> yeah, I made this. Um, If you guys do make this and you want to post it, tag me on one of my Instagrams. I would love, 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 love to see it. I... I just, I, I would really like if you guys were to show me. I, I would love to see it. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm going to go rest. It will edit and then rest. Um, Stay creative. Be safe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, bye. Thank <laughs> you.